Good morning students. I am Vetri Chalvi from Vetri and Vetri Need Chemistry. Today again I am uploading the topic is thermodynamics. Okay, let us see the questions. I am focusing on almost all Ames question because it is, let us see as an example, this is Ames 2011 mean. The question, we can within 4 or 5 years they are asking the question in NEET. So, 2020 NEET we can expect this question. Based on that criteria only, I am focusing on Ames question. Out of 45, 25 questions, direct question, everybody's answering will not bring difference. Though the toughest remaining 20 questions, moderate question, more numbers you are answering mean you are near to the seat. So, focusing on that criteria for the preparation. Don't waste the time. Let us come into the class. Enthalpy of combustion of methane. Ethane and propane are the corresponding values kilocalories per mole. Enthalpy of hexane can be predicted as. Okay, here previously they used to give methane in ethane only. Now in addition they are giving as the propane. From this data you have to go and find out the hexane. Okay, now let me write first the data. Okay, so methane. Whenever any work you are doing, there should be some order. So, I am taking the corresponding value EC for the data for calculation. Minus 368, yes, propane is minus 526.2. All are having the values of kilocalories per mole. Okay. So, this is for the unit is common for everything. So, given data is there. They are asking enthalpy of hexane. Hexane formula CN H2N 16 to 12, 12 plus 2, 14. So, this is the uh, question we have to calculate. So, what is the first work? The plan I am going to do is the difference between this is 1 CH2. The difference between this is 1 CH2 based on the homologous rule. Then these two CH2 you bring get the average. So next to final work is with the propane you add the three values of CH2 we can get the hexane. This is the work I am going to do. Now let us see the first CH2 with the difference of your ethane minus your value of your methane. Let me write the ethane values minus 368.4 minus of your methane values. Be careful children, this value is minus only. So we have to find the difference. So my next one is 368.4 minus of minus plus. So I am writing here for because vertically I am writing mean easy for the calculation. Different sign, so go for subtraction. So 14, 6 and it is 9. Here it is 5 and it is, what is it called as a, I will call it as a, yes, one, one second I will check it. Okay, here it is, I will check it, check it please children. Children 4, here it is on the, yes, 7, you are getting this, the 7. Okay, now by double check it, whenever you are doing double check it, that's all, no problem. Okay, this is 1 CH2, let me write. Next, let us go to this different. What is the different? C3H8 minus of C2H6. Same thing you let us carefully. 526.2 minus of minus 368.4. Okay, now write minus 526.2 minus of minus plus 368.4. Here you are 8 and then 7, 9 you will have and then here you are having ok 7 and here 5 and 1. Check it here, here what is it? Yes, yes. So now here you are having another CH2. Now I have to go for average of both. This is 157.6.8. So what is the average is? Simply 0.7. This is 0.7. So this is your average of CH2 value. 1. Now you want a hexane. For getting hexane, you use the value of propane plus 3 values of your CH2. Your propane value data is given minus 526.2. 
plus your average value is your average value is yes this is your average value both the category the sign is minus sign is very important now it is minus 157.7 into 3 now let us complete here 26.2 plus and here yes this is your values so minus this one and here this is minus sign is there Okay, now the plus into minus minus. So next thing, five twenty six point two plus into minus minus four seventy three point one. Both are the same sign. So you simply add it. Add it. Yes, you are getting minus nine ninety nine is gone. Verify your answer. You are having here minus nine nine ninety nine. Mean approximately thousand kilo calories. So this is your answer. Okay, children. Point number one. We can expect this question twenty twenty need. Okay, the methane, ethane, propane data are given. Correspondingly, you take before the whenever you are doing the rough work. This is where hexane. First, your work is one CH different by from this. Again, other CH different from this. Then go for the average your value. Okay, then what we have to do is to the propane plus. Three into average value, you are getting hexane. So this is the simple way you have to approach based on this model. This is the toughest model so far. It is discussed in the Yanks. Okay, now let us go to the next question. It is also Yanks 2010. Okay, one mole of an ideal gas is allowed to expand reversibly and adiabatically from a temperature of 27 degrees centigrade. If the work done during the process is 3 kilojoule, then final temperature of the gases. You are provided the value of C V. Now I am writing all the given data first. Of course, sum is very easy. A number of mole is equal to one. Expected reversibly and adiabatically. So the wordings are important. Rever reversibly, reversibly, and a adiabatic okay this is giving the some hidden noise so i am writing then the temperature is initial temperature is it is given as a initial temperature is 27 degrees centigrade you are adding kelvin because you have to add it 273 the temperature initial is 300 kelvin and work done during the process is w is given it is a 3 kilojoule i want in the terms of the joules only we require so it is converted in the form of joules and then what is the cv value is given is 20 joule per kelvin because it is given in the joule joule i have taken the work done in the terms of the joules okay now let us see the form what they are asking is the what is the final temperature temperature that is the question final temperature is the question Okay, what is the formula? Is yes, formula is given Q is equal to N C V delta T. What is Q? Is the heat heat number of moles C V is the value is given here and delta T is difference in temperature. Now the condition is this is based on this condition. What is it? Reversibly adiabatically because of adiabatic process. Whatever work you are doing, work done is equal to Q because energy neither enters the system nor leaves the system based on the constant. Okay, now the work done, what is given is I am taking as a Q. So now substitute the value three thousand joules equal to one mole into twenty into delta T. So now what is delta T is equal to? Three thousand divided by twenty getting cancel and what you are having one fifty. This is the unit is Kelvin because temperature. This is delta T only. They are asking us to give the final temperature since the process is adiabatically happening. So what will happen to the system is temperature of the system is decreases. So if it is decreases, mean what should be the condition? Change in temperature is equal to Initial minus final. Okay, this is the lower temperature because of here. So this is I am writing as a 
this is the formula okay now what we want we want the final temperature so substitute the value different in temperature is 150 is equal to initial temperature is 300 kelvin we have used in the formula and then what they are asking is final temperature so bring the final minus so bring it on here it's become what is plus so 300 plus will become as a minus so what is the answer is exactly we are getting 150 kelvin is the final temperature go and see the options you are provided with so this question is very simple the knowledge is reversibly adiabatically the work done is taken as the q this is the first point next work done should be taken in terms of the juice so this is available and then you are getting calculating the change in temperature so as soon as you are getting 150 kelvin go don't come come to the conclusion they are asking final temperature so you develop this one based on the understanding of knowledge adiabatic temperature decreases so final temperature should be the lower frame the formula fix substitute the values and get the final temperature thank you children